I'm going to break the illusion for a minute there and explain that the reason I always like sit on that is uh, just for the end. So the end screens in the re-uploads have a little bit of music in the background rather than just the silent end screens I have sometimes. But yeah, no, I agree. I agree, Justin. I wish that we had the ability to play as the girl character. And I mean, they added Lumina as a potential bachelorette in this game. They could have added uh, someone like... Now, Rock is one of the... Uh, Bachelor's Another Wonderful Life. I'm trying to think who they could have added. As a pot I mean, they could have... No. <laughs> that would be terrible. I mean, it's already kind of terrible they aged up Lumina, but I was like, they could have they added Hugh. They could have aged up Hugh. Um, but Hugh is like a baby at the beginning of this game. Um, Griffin? They could have made Griffin. Is Griffin already? No, it's so... The male bachelors are Marlin, Griffin, and no, sorry, Marlin, Gustafa, and uh, Rock, right? So it could, they could have added Griffin. He's kind of he's kind of on the older side, but you know, some people like their men older. Griffin ages age like a fine wine, I would say. Cody, they could have added Cody. Actually, Cody, I like that better than Griffin. Honestly, I, I would love Cody to have been a uh, marriage option. I would have married Cody. Oops, I got a refill. Also, like, give us the option for same-sex marriage, please. That would be, I mean, it's 2005, like... different time, I guess, but like should have still done it. Should have still given it to us. I freaked out about this like one or two streams ago, but the remake of uh, the remake of Friends of Mineral Town is doing it. I don't know if the original game let you do it, but the remake of Friends of Mineral Town is letting you have uh same-sex marriage, like, why couldn't, uh, why couldn't A Wonderful Life? Muffy, where are you? I'm on the beach with my horse. <laughs> For you! Um, who do I follow today? Who's the last person we're going to follow? I think I've done everyone interesting. I follow Galen. If I can still get to his house when he's home. Or find him otherwise. Cody was Cody was the best choice there, Eddie. Oh, he's here. Cool. Oh, this music is so good. Sure. <laughs> I love how it's like, here's this, here's this nice photo of his uh of his dead wife. Also, here's a recipe. <laughs> Her little hat's up there. Oh. I'm gonna, you like something. You like mugworts, right? Do I have a mugwort? I don't have a mugwort. Oh. It's gonna make this like the DS version. Can marry Griffin or... Griffin or Carter were the uh, additional ones in the uh, in the 
in the DS version. That's what it was. And I know Flora was another female option. Was Flora the only additional female option? No, there was the mermaid. <laughs> the mermaid that lives under uh, Daryl's floor. That was you could marry that person in the DS version. Um, I kind of like I I very much want there to be a Switch remake. Um, but I also very much don't. And the Harvest Goddess, that was the other that was the other one. She did exist in the DS version. Um, I very much wish there was a Switch remake, but I also very much don't because I don't have time to put another 120 plus hours into a game. I say that as if I didn't just put 150 hours into uh, Trails of Cold Steel 1 and 2 in the past two weeks. Um, there, so I don't know if technically she is in this one, but there's a hatch in Daryl's house, which if I can get there, maybe tomorrow I'll get there. Hey, David. Um, maybe I'll get there tomorrow, but there's a hatch on his floor. Um, and in the DS version, when you become close enough friends with that, with him, he's like, I'll show you what's under my hatch. And it's just a mermaid. It's a mermaid in a tub. Um, and you can marry her in the DS version. <laughs> Or in the DS game. It's just it's Harvest Moon DS. It's not the DS version of A Wonderful Life. It's a Harvest Moon DS. It just happens to basically be A Wonderful Life on DS. Because it's the same. It's Forget Me Not Valley and it's the same characters. They could. They could. I just don't see myself playing it is the thing. Like I see my because just because the only reason I don't see myself playing it is because I've just am about to beat this this the original version and like i feel like if i'm ever going to play this game again it'll be like 10 years down the road and i probably won't even make it past chapter one let's be honest Where are you going, Daryl? Thing is, I don't have, I mean, right now, I keep saying like, oh, I don't have a lot of time. Right now I have like all the time in the goddamn world because of how the world is right now. Um, but like once the world and like my work starts back up, I feel like I probably still wouldn't play it on my own. I feel like I'd, if I had the money, I'd buy it anyway, just to like support it. Cause I support the idea. Grant, I feel like this is early for you to be home. And for you to be back. Um, I do know that's a theory, Eddie, but like, who's the per? Oh, like, like, sorry, I'm, I'm sitting here thinking like, but who's the person? Cause they're all, you can, everybody you can basically see in town at all times. Um, but it could just be a person that is not one of the people who live in the town who live in, uh, forget me not. <sighs> Galen's life is not as exciting as I was hoping. <laughs> Just sitting with Galen. As you do, you know? Oh, David, don't get me started on buying games I never end up playing. Uh, I don't know if it's linked on it's it's definitely linked in my on my YouTube channel. Actually, it should be in the description of this. Like it's in the description of all of my videos. 
There's a website called Backloggery. It's just a catalog of every video game I own. I have, there's like 600 games I own, but I haven't played. It's insane. Keep, I keep buying games. Yeah, no, I... I don't have that patience, Eddie. <laughs> Just, I... I gravitate... Like, there's a lot of people, like... I, lo I love this game. Let me, like... I feel like I've been, like, defensively saying that I do love this game for the past, like, eight streams of it. I do. I really love this game. I just... If I was playing on my own terms, I would have stopped probably in chapter three again. Um, because I there's a place for like the like the, the idle farming type stuff. I can enjoy it for so much time, but I tend to look for more of a narrative or more engaging gameplay when it comes to games. And the narrative of this game is so like drip drop drip fed to you that like because you you get like one narrative cutscene a year for like the main overarching narrative and then like if you're lucky you'll get scenes if you're lucky or you set it up so you do you'll get scenes with characters sprinkled throughout the year but there isn't really anything to connect and that's I'm saying all this that's kind of the beauty of Harvest Moon as well I'm a let me give you a flower like I said I was going to. Um, that's kind of the beauty of this game, as well as, like, the, the, the detriment that I'm finding. Um, but, like, I'm not, I'm not great at off-the-cuff speaking about something like this. Um, like, I like... I like long JRPG. I like the Trail series. I like Cold Steel that I've been playing. Uh, I just started three yesterday. Um, cough, cough. Uh, I like those games a lot. The gameplay is pretty fun. Like, I like the strategy RPG turn-based thing that they do. Um, and I also uh, am invested in the story, and I get invested in the story. And more or less that like, more or less, being invested in the story is what keeps me going in those games. Um, and this, it's just the gameplay. Like, I like I like the, 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 the turn-based strategy RPG type thing that Trails does as gameplay. It's fun. It's I like it. But if there wasn't the story around it, I wouldn't be playing that game. And then this game is just farming at this point. Like, at this point in the game, you're just farming now. And maybe maybe it's because I'm not trying to influence my daughter to do something, so I'm not, like, focusing effort onto that. Because um, I'm just trying to let her do what she wants. But, like, I'm bored of the game. You know? I don't know. I like narrative games. Harvest Moon is fun. I love it. This isn't going to be the last Harvest Moon game I ever play. This isn't going to be the last Harvest Moon game I ever, I ever stream. It's going to be a little while before I get back to another one. But... And I really, I really do love this game, guys. Like, I, I've explained all this over and over again, but I, I really actually do like this game. I just don't have the patience to play it again. Um... Wonder, sorry, now to finally get to what you said, Eddie, I was wondering if Harvest Moon Universes are connected or if it's just all, it's just this in Mineral Town. I don't know. The weird thing about it is for like most Harvest Moon games, your main character, it's always the blue hat dude. Like you're, it's always the same person. So like in my head, I'd, I'd like to think that they're not connected. Um, if it's the same guy picking up whatever farm it is at whatever time, you know? But, uh, I don't know. This and, this and Mineral Town are definitely connected because they're directly connected. Because, like, you, you could connect the games. 
That would be cool with a Switch remake, though. Now that I'm thinking about this, like, if they, if they made a Switch remake of this, having connectivity to the Switch remake of Mineral Town would be great. Um, sorry. Uh... The only the only thing I could think of is that this this in Mineral Town. I mean, this in Mineral Town make the most sense. If you do nothing at all, so like you do nothing at all is in like you just get you just go to sleep like every day. Um, there are I have like skimmed through. Uh, speed runs of this game, which literally the only the thing you do is you just sleep every day. Um, and I don't remember what the sun ends up doing. Um, but there are speed runs of the game out there. So if you want to if you want that question answered, Eddie, uh, look up a Harvest Moon, a Wonderful Life speed run. Um, thing is, I don't think there's a speed run that has a daughter um, because to get the daughter would add so much time to a speed run. Um, but I, I think like speed runs for this game are like an hour. Maybe I don't remember. I'll look it up in a second. Well, that's the thing, like. The game is the game is finite, so there's like an end to the game. You don't have to really do anything in the game. I could just go to sleep every day, you know, like I I, I spend so much time doing things because I'm trying to fill my days. If I, I could just the moment I get up, I could just turn around and talk back to the counter again and just go to sleep. And that's what the speed run basically is. It's mashing a to go to sleep a billion times. Um, but it was just interesting to like see that that was a thing. So like, so Eddie, what you instead of like, you're not you're not thinking like just go to sleep. You're thinking like just stand around, like do this and just don't move forever. That's what you're saying. And then a cutscene happens and you just skip through the dialogue and then you just stand around basically until you collapse, because there would be a point where you'd collapse. OK, interesting. I won't be the one to do that. <laughs> I won't be the one to test that out. I don't want to play the whole game just standing around. It's like Luigi wins by doing absolutely nothing. But Harvest Moon happens by doing absolutely nothing. You know, T-Bone exists to be sold, but I kind of just want to hold on to him because I got one more day and like, why sell him? Money's pointless. Money's meaningless. We made up money, guys. Isn't that awful? Why would we do that to ourselves? We made up money. Money is fake. Why would we do that to ourselves? after collapsing and still do nothing until something happens. Yeah, I... I don't know. I have a feeling it would be similar to whatever happens uh, 
on the speed run. Because it's basically like the speed run is basically doing nothing. It's just it's just sleeping every day away. But I don't remember what happens in the speed run. Check it over here one more time. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right. Gonna scan through a speedrun real quick. Do it. Do it, Eddie. Remind me how long it is, too, once you get there. I don't, uh, I don't remember. day. It's so weird. After over a year, like, we're at the end. It's been so long <laughs> since I started this game. Dang. I want to test something with that. I want to see what happens. We'll get what I still got like 20 minutes before I get to that point. But when I get to that point, I want to see what happens if I just like let the year roll over. Um, let the year roll over awake. Like if I stay up past midnight. We'll see. It could just be nothing. <laughs> or I could just drop dead right at midnight. <laughs> Do I got a shearable sheep? I got a shearable sheep. Let's do the shear. Clip, clip, clip. Clip, I said. Clip, clip, clip. I haven't ever not gotten gold wool. I'm appreciative of it. But I just think it's silly. It's that easy to get gold wool that I've never not gotten gold wool. As long as I don't miss, I have the exact perfect amount of water uh, to water those again tonight. Though if they're not grown tonight, they're not going to be grown. Ooh. Um, I don't really know what to do with my last day. I'm not just going to follow someone around. Let's just go talk to everybody and then like give a final tour of the uh, give the final tour of the farm. You couldn't find any speed run. I swear I watched a speed run on YouTube. Did I invent Harvest Moon speed running. I swear there's a speed run on YouTube. I'm looking it up right now, literally. Um, I 
Oh yeah, just Google it. Just Google like. Oh wait, these are marriage speed runs. I don't want what, what? I swear to God, I saw a full game speed run. Oh, I don't know if anybody's done what you're looking for. Why is there no full game? I swear to God, I saw a full game speed run. Okay, whatever. I give up. Where? Why are you running into the wall? Ah, okay. What to do? What was I doing? We're gonna talk to everybody. We're gonna. I. There's the any percent category. There is actually an any percent. Okay. I just looked up full, I don't know, I'll, I swear to God I watched one before and it was cool to the point of, I mean, it was boring to watch, honestly. They just kept doing the same, going to bed. Breeze does get stuck in your head after a while, but I specifically wanted to end the game with Breeze because the music you start the game with, it should be the music you end the game with. It's a really good song. We have beach cutscene, uh, and I wanted to see what happens when it just rolls over. Mukumuku's my favorite Yeti. I'll miss you the most. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say goodbye to everybody. Uh, is Murray up here? Murray, my favorite hobo. I'll miss you the most. My favorite working woman. I'll miss you the most. Uh, let's check on our competitor farm. Celia, the one I would have married if I was actually me. I'll miss you the most. Is anyone upstairs? No one's upstairs. Now, who is Ninja Gangster? Is still sending me things on through my website. Oh, well, the mermaid's definitely not there, but I was going to show you the thing under Daryl's house. I will show you the thing under Daryl's house or the, where, where the, the hatch is. Festa, my favorite competitor. Competitor. I'll miss you the most. Called all trophies or do more than just sleep. You get all trophies. Well, I'm not anywhere near the world record for that, but I am getting all the trophies. Um, Marlin, my favorite asshole. Uh, I'll miss you the most. And over here... Galen, my favorite old person. I'll miss you the most. Oh. 
let's go to Wally, my favorite exerciser. I'll miss you the most. Hugh, my favorite totally cool boy. I'll miss you the most. Kate, my favorite daughter of someone that is not me. I'll miss you the most. <laughs> Smooth, Ryan. Covered your tracks there. Samantha. My favorite stay at home mom that's not my own stay at home wife. I'll miss you the most as I eat a grape. Also, wait, end of the game. Test the theory. Haha, <laughs> it's still locked. I also I have vivid memories of a scene with Sebastian in that shed, but I'm sure I made that one up. Where's Romana? Oh, Romana, my favorite uh, best friend, comma female. I'll miss you the most. It adds a layer of morbidity to this part of the game, knowing that I'm going to die tomorrow. Sebastian, my favorite butler. I will miss you and your noble passion the most. I'm heading that way, Eddie. Don't you fret. I gotta check if Lumina's home first, though. She is. Lumina, my favorite underage marriage uh, person. I'll miss you the most. She still feels very much like a kid. Oh, was I supposed to check those other two rooms? I don't think that's going to work. I'm not going to check those ones. I've already left. I'm already gone. Bye. Ah. <laughs> but here's the other. I thought Muffy was Justin. Because Muffy... I mean, I got some hard events with Celia, but I interacted with Celia a bit. I thought Muffy, uh, Muffy, I got hard events for like not even interacting with her. I did not come here to play the game, Patrick, my favorite twin. I'll miss you the most. I'm terrible at the game. I played enough of it. Cassie, my favorite twin. I'm not playing the game and I'll miss you the most. Yeah, but I thought it was Muffy. I, I, it might, there might be some weird, like, it could potentially be Celia. It could potentially be Muffy. Cody, my favorite artist. I'll miss you the most. I don't remember if Daryl gets up at 1 or at 11. But I'm going to check over here first. Hello, Adidas baby. Very nostalgic. Also, right at the end of the game. You, sh you showed up on literally the last day. It is one. Okay. That's what I thought, Eddie. Um, so where's Gustafa? He probably went up here.
No, yeah, I feel you. I feel you, dude. I never. Uh, this is my first time beating the game, too. Uh, you're about if you stick around, you're about to find out how it ends. So. All right. Gustafa wasn't up here. Um, the original GameCube version of the game does end. This game turns into an endless mode, I think, after it's over. But there's an ending. Gustafa, my favorite musician. I'll miss you the most. Put it on the GameCube. Yeah, it's uh, there was like an, a finite ending to the GameCube version. Well, there's there's talk. Celia has talk of a prearranged marriage. Um, but I didn't realize that prearranged marriage was with you. There's a there's a like a like a. Uh, there, I know there's a um, scene where the, the scene where Celia proposes to you is her trying to escape her arranged marriage because um, she loves you. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Um, Another Wonderful Life has some improvements to the original GameCube version and you're a girl. That's basically it. This version I'm playing takes the improvements from Another Wonderful Life, puts them into the original game and adds Lumina as a marriage person, as a marriage candidate. And there's a couple other things, but anyway, hi, Daryl, my best friend, my best man at my wedding in my head cannon, the first friend I like ever actually made. I will miss you the most. And this is the hatch, uh, Eddie, I was talking about. It looks like a door. Could there be a secret room here in Harvest Moon DS? It is a secret room. And once you get close enough to, um, to Daryl, he gets, he lets you in, and there's a mermaid under there. I think he rescued, I think the story goes, he rescued her from the ocean or something. Like she washed up on the beach and he rescued her. But yeah. Yeah, there's a lot. Everyone is, uh, everyone gets super old at the end. <laughs> as you can tell by my completely white hair. We should go say goodbye at the dig site. We haven't been to the dig site in a while. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> I heard talk to Gail, I heard talk to Gustafa. I'm married to Nami. Uh, Adidas baby. Nami is best girl. I think it depends on who you marry default wise, Eddie, because like I know Nami's child is predestined to be or the least predestined to be the farm, be a farmer. Um. Flora, I would marry you in the DS version. I'll miss you the most. Carter, you gave me things that ended up being a lot of money. I'll miss you the most. Okay, I think we said goodbye to enough of the village. Um, so let's go say goodbye to the animals and maybe my potatoes if they're not going to grow. I'll talk to you later, Nami. Uh, my potatoes, some of them have grown. I'm going to leave them in the ground for now. Chaco, I've had you for a little bit. You're still producing milk. Make some money for my family when I'm gone. Shape, you are the father to every cow on this farm. Thank you for your service. Uh, Ooze, you exist. 
Thank you. Um, Starmie, you are the... I think you're the first star cow I bought. I'm going to stay up past midnight, Eddie. Um, all right, no, you're the first... You're the second child? I don't remember. You might you might be the first female star cow I bought, or you are the second child. I don't remember, but you've done a lot for us, and I appreciate you. Shessie, you were the first child. You are Shape and Bessie's child. Bessie, who has not been with us for a very long time. Thank you for everything. Reg. Well, first off, T-Bone, you'll become a nice steak. Reg, you've been with us for a bit. You haven't made us the most money, but it's been nice to have some variety in this, uh, in this shed. Goodbye. And then, of course, the man, the myth, the legend. I don't remember which number Cornelius you are. I think the fifth. But Corneli slash, a.k.a. Cornelius the fifth? You I've gotten the most mileage out of, pun intended. Thank you very, very much. Uh, there's three, there's a couple different kinds of horses in the special edition Adidas Baby. Um, and I don't know how, but I ended up with the white one. It just kind of happened. I don't know. Once the, uh, once this game, like, actually, like, ends, I might cry. I might get sad. E, you've been with us for like a very small amount of time, but thank you for all the eggs. I don't want to show. Um, I don't know. I don't know, Justin. I might choke up. Henny, I think you were my first chicken. Thank you for your service. You've made me the most money out of anyone in this coop. Harma, you were the second chicken, I think. So you may be the second most amount of money. Thank you. Who dis? Kyrie, I don't know why I did. No, I, I do know why I named you Kyrie. It was close to when Kingdom Hearts One or Kingdom Hearts Three came out. Thank you, Kyrie. I'm not going to, Justin, because I don't have anything to cook. <laughs> Peep, another name I didn't know how to name. Thank you. Um, Cola. I really wish I went with the soda theme for the chicken names, but I was really terrible at naming things at the beginning of this game. And because of that, Cola is my favorite. And finally, probably the hardest working chicken of this crew is Foghorn, who fathered all of that, all of these chickens and has fathered countless others that I have sold to the slaughter. I think my final meal might have been that grape I ate a minute ago, Justin. <laughs> to be honest, to be like completely honest. Um, okay. That's all my animals. I can pick some of these potatoes. Some of these S rank. Wow, that's like a big potato. These S rank potatoes. Nah, I don't need to. I don't need to eat. I'm about to die. Who needs food? <laughs> I ate all of my food at 11 p.m. outside my house. Just gotta gorge yourself before you. Maybe that's a. That's how you died, Eddie. You died of a stomach. Uh, a tear in the stomach line, lining. Because you ate so much. Oh my Anna! I forgot about my pets. Romeo, oh Romeo, 
you've been with us for the longest amount of time. I never finished training you. I'm glad you're relatively healthy. And I have another pet. I got one more. Right here. We got ourselves... Oh, I'll, I'll take you outside. That's not entirely what I meant to do, but you know it's happening. We're just going to let it happen. So Adidas baby, let me let me break down the math for you before we say goodbye to my cat. Let me break down the math for you. So on my average, every day takes about 30 minutes. Every year there are 40 days and there are six hours or six uh, years in the special edition of the game. So 30 times 40 days one day is about 1,200 mi or one year is about 1,200 minutes. But then multiply it by six and then divide it by hours. It takes about 120 hours to beat this game. Also, I just, I'm gonna go back to that pause menu for a second again, because I just love the fact that when you're holding an animal, it, wow, what did I do? I pressed a different button. I just love the fact that when you're holding an animal, it's just, they're just in your hand here. Can I put Samson in my rucksack? Nope. Can I like switch Samson out for something? Nope. Uh, anyway, Samson, and you, yeah, and you caught it at the end. Uh, but if you're bored and want to relive the entire series, it's all on my YouTube channel. <laughs> Samson's relatively healthy. You can go away. You can go down because you don't, you don't like to be held. Um, thank you for being a cat. It took me forever to get you, and I'm very allergic to you. But yeah. Uh, if you look up, if you just look up Nun Man, or I think it's if you scroll down, uh, if you scroll down on the on my Twitch channel, there should be a link to it down there. Uh, but if you look up Nun Man uh, or the Ryan two two seven, that's me. I love the same icon. Okay, it's time to bring the animals inside, I think. Adidas Baby, thank you for following. <laughs> I feel like I can just imagine like your, your child looking through the window and turning to your wife and being like, Mom, I'm worried about Dad. And then you drop dead outside. And they're like, oh, okay, yeah, I was right to be worried. I'm not worried about feed, put, filling everybody's troughs tonight. Oh, I went to, I'm trying to go through the door. bunch more milk that will give my family money after I die. We're pretty wealthy here in Forget-Me-Not Valley, so you know, we're okay. We are okay. Hi, Ash. Thank you for following Ash. You followed when I wasn't uh, streaming. I'll play the thing now just to make it pop up. But you followed me when I wasn't streaming. Uh, recently, uh, Adidas Baby, it's just been this, but I play like a little of everything. Um, I, I've played shooters. I My favorites are like RPGs, and I want to be getting back to more of those. But I've played like shooters. I've played platformers. Um, and I'll, play, I'll be playing a little bit of everything in the future as well. Uh, eventually, I'll get back to another Harvest Moon. I do Pokemon Nuzlocke runs, uh, randomized Nuzlocke runs, which I should be getting back to fairly soon. Um, 
yeah, I do, I do a lot of stuff. Okay, what is the plan? Oh, here's the plan. I'm coming in. I need to talk to uh, my wife. First, I'm going to check here and just like make sure. Yeah, there's no nothing special on the last day. You play Tree of Tranquility. That's cool. I have uh, Tree of Tranquility. I've never played Tree of Tranquility. Tree of Tranquility, uh, Ash. But I own it. I got it at a tag sale. Um, it's on my shelf. And I think the next Harvest Moon I do play on the, on the, the stream will be Tree of Tranquility. Um, but I don't know. Who knows? Uh, it won't be immediate. It, I will be taking a Harvest Moon break after this. Anyway, uh, Nami, my wife, the best, the best girl. It's been great to spend my life with you. I will miss you the most. I didn't know about the blinking red, that, that, blah, 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 blah. I didn't know that about the blinking red light, Justin. I never got the milking room in uh, the GameCube version whenever I played it. I am not going to sleep. I am going to save. Just in case, I have like, like an ink, a little bit of an inkling that something might happen if I, uh, I'm going to come out straight and say, I'm a little worried that if I let the night roll over into the next day and then I go to sleep in during the next day, another year is going to happen. <laughs> um, so that, that save was a precaution in case another year happens. Um, so I can go back and Rachel, my daughter, the light of my life. I'm really happy with whatever you choose as your future career and whatever you end up doing with your life. And I hope that my absence won't be too much of a detriment to it. Truly, in all seriousness, I will miss you the most. We're going to spend out our final moments on the beach. probably the best place in the game uh, to spend out a tranquil uh, a, a tranquil final moment and maybe Muffy will come by and I'll get the scene that apparently doesn't exist uh Ash, if you mean, I don't know what you mean, everything, but I bought Tree of Tranquility for, I think, $5 and at, at a tag sale. Um, and this game was also around that because I got it on sale on the PS4 store. Um, she's going to be upset soon, Eddie. I don't know if she was upset, but Rachel is going to be upset. This is such just like, like even as like not up to current specs, um, as this game was, this is still pretty pretty. I, the, it seems like it doesn't edit, but I'm just going to stand out here anyway. Um, the, I think this, the star bull I got was something like 5,000 and then the star cows are like 6,000 each, but all of them, except for one of them, I think are, uh, cows that I, produced through miracle potions. I'm pretty sure time still passes in first person. So just this is how this is the pretty picture I'm going to end it with. This is beautiful. Just listening to the ocean slosh That's a lot of money. I 
And also, you can't get an ostrich in this game. <laughs> Time is passing, right? Oh yeah, time is definitely passing. Oh no. Well, I'm gonna die with my horse next to me because <laughs> I accidentally called my horse. I thought I read about that, Ash. Once the calendar clicks over, I'm going to ride back home and go to bed unless it auto kills me or auto ends. But this is a beautiful, a beautiful sight. I like to just imagine in the canon of the world, my character went out to get some fresh air on the beach, came home and went to sleep and just didn't wake up. But I guess there's some, there's a scene that has to happen first. I was looking at the ocean until I was teleported here, Nami. Thinking about the life I lived and how happy I am that I lived it with you. It has. She is. We have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it has. And you're as beautiful as ever. Oh no, what's happening? Why did that go so fast? That makes me, I don't know what that text said. That's sad. Several sad days later. This is it. The dog looks worried. Romeo looks worried. Oh, that's I'm actually kind of tearing up because of that. Oh. This music is hitting me, too. Wow. Oh, no. This is Takakura talking. Oh, this is kind of sad. I really am sad. Wow, I didn't think this would hit me like this. God, what is it with me in playing games that make me cry on stream? Uh, to the moon, finding paradise, this. Murray. Are these all, like, my best friends? I don't know. I wouldn't have Ramana. <laughs> oh, Muffy's crying. For my love? Did Muffy just admit she loved me? I don't like that the music changed. I'm still sad. That music is what got me. 
I'm gonna be honest here. Why is it ending with the blue bar music? Or is this music I had, I had played in the farm? I don't honestly remember. This is kind of really sad, but your son lived a good life. He did everything he had to. The farm is still going. What did Rachel end up choosing? She's doing the art thing. She she's an artist. Oh, she liked she's always liked art the most. But her academics has always been so like mixed with it and so close to it that uh, we've gotten all of the academic scenes before this. I'm happy for I'm happy she went to do art. I'm so happy she went to do art. Oh. Huh. Wow. Nami, you can't be that shocked. I I think that's exactly what you did when you were her age. Is that a secure sketchbook? <laughs> so is Takakura just taking care of the farm? Or is Nami? It's so... I don't know. It's, this is sad, but it's sweet. Nami's continuing the farm. I guess we'll have to imagine that I showed her how to do everything at some point. <laughs> there is some kind of a, of a theory, I think, that people who have lived in Forget-Me-Not Valley for a certain amount of time live to be like 120, 150 as like an explanation for why Takakura and why uh, Romana and Galen are all still alive when your character who was much younger than them has passed away. Because you came to the valley later than most. What are Lumina and Kate doing? He's he's where I died. And that's the game. We platinum the game. That was a lot sadder than I expected it to be. I actually, I really did like tear up and choke up there. Ah. Uh. I really do love this game. Like, despite everything I have said about being so bored of it and what it wanted to would, would have the, the, the fact that I would have quit it a while ago if I weren't streaming it, like 
I really do, I really do love this game. And I'm really happy that I was able to to beat it and to beat it on stream with people. Some of the people here have been here the whole time. Like, Eddie, you've been here basically since I started streaming the game. Uh, Justin's also been here pretty often. Like, I'm happy you guys were here. Um, I will show a sample of heaven mode. A very short sample, but I will show a sample of heaven, of heaven slash endless mode. Um, but that's the game. It's going to be a while before I start up um, another uh, another Harvest Moon game. Thank you, Justin. Good to know. Um, before I, it's going to be a, a long while before I start another Harvest Moon game. Um, Guys, this took forever. <laughs> And as far as I'm aware, this is the only Harvest Moon game with, like, an actual finite end. A finite end. Um, but that's that's the game for now. I, um... I don't know what's coming next, either, on the stream. Uh, Harvest Moon on YouTube. Or not Harvest Moon. Kingdom Hearts on YouTube is going to start back up again very soon, I promise. I'm working out a kink right now, but as soon as it's worked out, it'll be good. Um, but as for what I'm, I will be streaming next, I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided yet. Um, it won't be for a little bit. I think I, I think I'm gonna take like a week off of streaming. Um, just so I can get some Kingdom Hearts backlogged too. Um, and by the end of the next week, I think I'll I'll have figured out what I'm going to start with next. But it won't be Harvest Moon. It'll probably be a much shorter game. Just still haven't figured out what it's going to be yet. And that's okay. But that's the game. I'm glad for everyone who could be here to experience it with me, whether live or recorded or some combination of both. It really was 2005. I don't think that's canon, Eddie. <laughs> Murray! Oh. So does it auto put me in heaven or? What does it say? It says heaven. Does it auto put me in heaven or do I have to load? I have to load. I am younger, but not as young as I thought I would be. That's not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go into Rachel's room. Rachel's still an adult, right? Yeah, she looks like to she looks to be still an adult. It's her talking about art. 
I don't think I really ever read her, uh, I, I really ever read her, um, diary. I think I did it once in the game. But yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna walk around town a little bit. I don't really have, uh, oh wait, show oh, she's not an adult adult. I kind of assumed she was, uh, she looked to be an adult. Everyone's chapter four. Okay, so she's like teenager then, right? I'll, I'll come look at her again in a, in a little bit. Oh wow, most of these didn't even become harvestable. That's weird. It's weird to me that she's still, she's back to being a teenager. Um, I just want to, the day to go by a little faster because I want to see people. Who's leaving a, oh, you know who is probably? Uh, Takakura. Maybe not, he might already be left, or already have left. There's my cat. All the all my animals are fine, right? I, I've still got everything in my rucksack. All my animals are the same as ever, I'm sure. Yeah, they're all good. They're all here. Hey, everyone. I really didn't expect it to, to choke me up like that. The, uh, I really didn't uh, expect the ending to choke me up like that. I'm just going to wait till she wakes up. Does anyone have like exclusive dialogue or anything for heaven? Or is it just, does everyone act like they've been in uh, chapter four? I mean, they probably just died, Eddie. <laughs> and go to real heaven and not weird farmer heaven. I'm just going to sit here until she wakes up, though. I want... Oh, here she is. Is that what she looked like as a teenager? I don't remember that. Did I read her diary now, or did I read her diary? No, I read it now. I like that look of on Rachel. I like this look of her. I mean, didn't just age to chapter six. Okay. She's got. She had her same dialogue. What do her assets say about her? Are you, they're probably going to say exactly the same. Yeah, everything as it was. Nami's up. Where'd she go? Or did I just pass her as I was entering her, the bedroom and she was entering the kitchen? Or did I just walk right past her in the kitchen? No, she's not in the kitchen. Huh. She must have went outside. I don't know if I could, Eddie, or not. I have already unlocked them all. 
So I cannot I cannot check that for us. Where's Nami? You know what? That's okay. I don't need to know. But Takakura is here. Hi, hey, bud. Okay. Now that she's in the bed. Does she have changed hairstyle now? I didn't even realize, but cool. Um, I heard a door open. Was it Nami? It was. Hey. Okay. So heaven is just, it's more of the game. I'm going to end it here, guys. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope people who were who have only really come for the Harvest Moon streams, I hope to see you guys in other streams in the future. Um, if Harvest Moon was just your, th was your only thing that you wanted to watch me play, then I also understand that as well. Um, but thank you all for watching. I appreciate it very much. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.